she had seen the Thin Red Line, mm -hmm. um, and, which she told me, and uh, she, uh, uh, her manager called my agent up, and, and uh, my agent called me and told me that she'd be interested in me in doing this movie. I read it, and I initially, and I turned it down. I didn't think that I would be able to, to do it because it butted up too close to another film that was going to take a huge amount of time to do. Mm -hmm. And to make a long story short, uh, Dennis Quaid called me and said, you might want to rethink that. He's, she, you know, he's a very smart director. And, and uh, so I called him up the next day and, and asked him if he'd have me in his film. And, and uh, that's what happened. I love these movies where you can't tell too much of, of what it's about. So I want you guys to do it for me. The movie is about human beings and human nature. And you have a woman who's very powerful cop, and very tough, but she's so angry at the beginning. And you have a guy who's totally a lost soul for a good reason, which we won't reveal. Haunted. And he's haunted. And you find these two sort of haunted characters who, because of a moment of destiny and a, a, and a twist of fate, come together. And they're very unlikely to come together, but their chemistry drives them closer. She's a really good actress. She went for it, and the whole non-glam aspect is why women are relating to her character. When we've showed it to audiences, they love the fact that she got real here. And she didn't fight it. She she went for it. She she was willing to be real, to be street, to be. And still, you know, there's nothing you can do about her beauty. But she wasn't trying to do that. She was trying to be an actress, to incarnate a role, and uh, take the journey. And what did you know about Jennifer Lopez before you met her? If you had my love and I gave you all my trust, would you comfort me and be my baby? You know, You're that's pretty good. Well, that's you know, I'm I'm a strictly a white rapper, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, she and she saw that. Did you perform this white rap act for Jennifer on the set? Um, no, because see, I'm married, and I didn't want to bring us any closer than we already were, and it's really important. You know, I am a man of many talents, but I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to brag. It's a shame. Yes. I think she would have really enjoyed that. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> I'm sure she would have. It's sorry, I don't want her manager Benny Medina trying to side me, and then. Oh, okay. The whole rival thing. <sighs> you know, we're in a movie. Is that not enough? 